Hi, it's Source Lover 543, and this video is for, I think it's main 0, 0, 0, 3, I think. Um, I'm not really sure, but this is for you. This is all the stuff I have left. This is like a more detailed video. I'm sorry my video camera's not very good, but it's focusing a little bit better than yesterday. But this is a black suit me. He's really nice. He has a little. He's custom by me. He's a blue roan. He has like very minor brush strokes, but barely any at all. A nice hoof, gloss hooves, eyes and nose. That, that marking, that marking. And the only thing wrong, it's not really something wrong, is he has like a little like glop of black paint that you can't. It's not the shadow of the tail, but it's hard to tell. It's not, it's just darker there. He's not sprayed as matte or glossy finish, so anyone that buys him could choose if he is matte or glossy. Um, San Domingo might be on hold, so uh, I'm just not going to show him. Uh, this is an Appaloosa custom I'm working on. I'm not done with him. Right now he just has that marking right there, which isn't complete. And that there, the only thing wrong is that there's a little green dot in there that is in the plastic. But it's hard, hardly noticeable. I did a full stripe blazish thing. So I can finish his pattern or I can turn him into like a Pintaloosa or something. This is a really nice horse. It's not perfect. It has a few little brush strokes and like marks. But it has a really detailed striped hoof. Appaloosa pattern that's nice, has nice spots. That pink nose, and then there's a marking under his chin. Oh, it's like impossible to see, but it is supposed to be there if somebody think it's, thinks it's just like a white splotch. He's not sprayed either with any finish. This is a guy, I don't even know if he's for sale. Um, but if you wanted him, I would sell him. These two etched stable mates, I don't know if they're for sale. They'd have to have pretty good offers. Um, but he's he's dirty. I'm going to clean him off. But he has individual herring along him. And it's really nice. This camera doesn't focus on it at all. But it looks so much better than the original model. And it's really natural looking. And a lot of these models you can probably show. And this one has a really nice etched pattern. But I dropped him and the ears fell off, so that's a problem. But besides that really nice pattern, a few little shiny marks in the paint, but not much at all. This is Geronimo. He got first place at a show. He's a really nice Appaloosa. Um, he is pretty good. He's a pretty good custom. Um, he's like mapping. And I could, he's not sprayed yet either. The black paint is OF paint, like the original paint, plastic paint, but the Appaloosa pattern and hooves aren't. This is Bella. I know it's a boy, but I just named him Bella because when he was in OF, he looked like a horse I used to ride named Bella. Um, I know he's not fully customized. He has that marking, that which is like brought up, that that an individ that and a bunch of individual herring which you can't see. But he's still really, really nice. Like he you can't see the herring on the camera at all. Or can you I don't know if you can. He has like frosting on his tail and stuff. So I actually spent more than an hour on him. It doesn't look like it, but I did it really carefully. Once again, not sprayed with any finish, so I could do that. I think he'd be a nice glossy personally. And this is a kind of an unfinished custom. He's really nice with like shading, but his white marks have a few brush strokes in them. That mostly that one has some brush strokes, but he could easily he has like horseshoes but they aren't glossed yet. So he's really nice. Um ah! sorry. Just have to stand this little horse. Okay, this is a guy I really want to sell. He's a custom. I did it originally in nail polish remover, but now I'm sanding him. I also etched out the hair. The etching went a little bit into his plastic right there, but I'm sanding it off. And nail polish remover is usually really glossy. I'm making it more matte with sandpaper. 
and I repainted his hose and glossed them. And he's in great condition. I touched up his ear rub. I don't know if it's perfectly touched up. But it's it was barely there anyway. And I touched up his tail rub, which kind of the paint kind of came off. But I can spray him with finish, or if you don't want to, I can just keep it. He has like that frosting on his tail. I really want to sell him. So he says um he's Yankee from the Flicka set, so it says Flicka in gold. Um, now, so remember, I only need $20, $10 shipping. That's all I need. So, uh, yeah. This is a, uh, sorry. This is a perfect condition Schley dog thingy with really nice eyes. He's really pretty. Probably, yeah, he he's definitely that show quality. This is a full that I customized. It is a briar. It's like the old, it's like the briar ponies. He has detailed brown eyes. He's not perfect because of his plastic is different. There are a few brush strokes, but he has shading. And his ears aren't quite done yet. And I can't spray him with any finish because his mane and tail are real hair. So you just have to keep him pretty nice. Okay. Yeah. Then, uh, I really don't think anyone would be interested, but that's this mini Winnie great condition. As far as I can tell, perfect. Then there's this sleigh that comes with a blanket. And he is really pretty. He has, like, shading. He, he has, like, a weird white glob. You can't really see it. It's, yeah, it's, like there, but it looks a lot bigger on the camera. You could probably get it off, but I don't really know what it is. I don't think it's paint. Um, he has a few little, like, lines in him that aren't scratches that are just in his plastic, but overall he's really nice. And he does come with this blanket, and he'd be really cheap. So, oh yeah, he has gloss nostrils that I didn't do. He's not a custom, but he's still really nice. And I paid six dollars for him with a separate blanket, so he would he'd be a good deal because he definitely wouldn't be six dollars. This is a pretty much perfect condition sleigh full with really detailed hooves, gloss nostrils, eyes. I named him Peter. Carved out hooves. Really, really pretty. So I think that oh yeah and then I have these two puppies one is just like a plastic one that has the only thing is the paint's a little darker on the edges so there's something wrong with them I have a perfect condition really pretty cute stable neat puppy um and I think oh yeah then um there were those bodies which are like messed up horses, so there's just like a little full. There's this full that I started shipping the her messed up custom paint off. There's this guy who I might give to my friends, so I don't know yet. But if somebody is interested, then this is a custom that I'm not really finished with. I have to touch it up. Her paint isn't perfectly smooth. I didn't use a brush. I used a sponge. It's n there's no brush strokes. It's just not.